Hi ladies and gentlemen, it's Christelle here with the readings for September. I just wanted to introduce what I'm going to do for the readings. I have a mini grand tableau, which is four cards over four cards down, a total of 16 cards, and I'll discuss that. I'll be doing a mini grand tableau for every sign. Four clarifiers, um, well, each of them have a numbered house, so the uh, importance of a cer certain cards falling on certain houses will be relevant, and I'll speak about that. And for clarifiers, when I need them, I'll be using the Mona Lisa, the Mona Lisa, um, here you go, the Mona Lisa Tarot, which is a lovely deck, and that's it. On to the readings. Thank you old subscribers for hanging in with me. Welcome new subscribers. Enjoy. Virgo, oh, Virgo, Virgo. It's Christelle here. I have your spread, the mini grand tableau as said. Let me show you your cards. This is the, um, the fish. Fishes. The fish. I don't think that's plural. Um, the sun. There are many fish in the sea, yes. Um, the cross, the clouds, the bear, the birds, the book, the man, the mice, the garden, the stork, the woman, the scythe, the clover, the stars, and the whip. Okay, now I see here a, uh, well, a number of things. There are so many different things, but it seems that your fortune is laid by the fact of a breakaway. You're going to break away on your own, it looks like, right from the beginning um, of the month here. You make a decision, okay, and it's brewing already. I'm reading on the new moon here, on the full moon, the night of the full moon, and what I'm seeing is... Um, that you are the, you're brewing the decision of uh, going it alone. I've had it. I want to quit my job. I've had it with this person, my companion. I'm leaving. I want to go. But it's time for me to make a break. And what's interesting is that after having made that decision, um, you'll find such interesting surprises that cross your path. And an ending it is. There is a, a, a very important ending here for you. And what I'd like to stress is that it's true. Every ending is a difficult uh, experience for all of us, but it's necessary. And what is going to happen is that you come out a with a new uh, experience in terms of your life, your livelihood, persons in your life. and But it is a necessary and it will occur. And as I said, the idea is brewing the end of August, but it t uh, takes place in September. Now, the communication surrounding this change and surrounding the new, the ending and the beginning um, will be cumbersome, will be difficult, will be um, filled with uh, nuances that are not very clear to you, but they are fleeting. They uh, are just momentary, so don't worry about that. Um, I have here uh, the on the uh, your, your work and your livelihood, there is a sense of renewed security, especially um, since you have made plans, because I'm seeing it as occurring the end of, Oct of August and the beginning of September, and the decision has been long in coming, um, and the sense of security comes from that because it has been planned so well. 
Of course, these are general readings, but what I'm seeing here is a break on your own. This concerns your livelihood, but your livelihood is where you get your sense of security. For the make or break it on your own, it can affect other areas of your life. It could affect uh, partnerships. It could affect making, you know, leaving. If you're um, still living at home with relatives, you may want to leave. And that is going it alone is going to bring you the, um, uh, the surprise element of, of, of um, a, the law of attraction is going to start working your way. Positive surprise is coming your way. Now, also linked to this sense of security is a lot of talk concerning your sense of security. It's all about me wanting to break away on my own. I'm ready, you're saying to yourself, Virgo, I'm ready. And I, I feel that I could use a little help from my friends in terms of let's talk about it. It will help me. Let's talk about it. So there's going to be a lot of chatter concerning that. You're not uh, necessarily in a position, and, and I see this as being um, your blind spot, um, knowing you don't fully know, you're not fully aware of what is lying ahead of you. Okay, you've planned. You've planned for all different um, options or occurrences, but you're not ready uh, to, to, and you're not, you don't have the intuition, okay, this is what I'm saying, you don't have enough intuition to understand what's going to happen in the near future, but you're planned, which is uh, uh, the positive element, and that's what's going to give you a heightened sense of security. The element of home, you know, usually there's this expression, home is where the heart is, and there is. Um, but I see here a male presence in the home um, who is returning home, okay? So there's going to be return of a male. It could be a father figure, it could be a, a sibling, it could be a significant other, or a, an, a former significant other that may uh, return for a visit or may, because I'm seeing it here as a welcome visit, um, a, a welcome visit, a surprise visit, and a public visit. It's nothing to do on a personal basis. It doesn't have, you know, me and you and me and you. No, it, you will be with friends. They will come and they will become part of a social uh, gathering. So it's, a, it's, a, it's something that is above board. It's not a personal or romantic return. Um, but having said that, and having mentioned the public life, what I get here also is um, the difficulty that you have with, um, how can I say, um, striking the balance between going it alone and uh, continuing a certain amount of social life, a public life, talking about it, you seem to want more downtime, more alone time in order for you to bring your plans forward. And um, this mini grand tableau is such a joy to, to read because it's so clear and each card um, seems to um, strengthen each other and the, the messages become so clear. The obstacles indeed are in, um, in the house of the obstacles, in, in, in the house of the mountain, is the garden. So that it's very clear that difficulties, you have difficulties in making, striking the balance between um, staying on your own. The idea has been made, the choice has been made, but striking the balance between having a lot of downtime and going out on a social basis. Um, the area that concerns making decisions um, will require you to keep going back home, you know, in, metaphorically speaking, keep you going back to square one. All right, if I get uh, disoriented, I don't know how to make certain decisions, you will find that if you 
continue and, and go back, retrace your steps is where your um, answers will come from. And then on the spur of the moment, you'll be able to make those decisions. And decisions, I find in September, your decisions are always made uh, with snap judgment very quickly. Now, difficulties, I have just said that a male coming back to you is going to be such a, a joy to see. This is not the case for a female that's going to cross your path. Um, a female going to cross your path who is going to cause you just insidious problems, um, uh, nuisances, nothing, nothing um, that you can't get over. However, there is a certain relation with these two people, the male and the female, as if, um, I'm throwing it out there now, as if the male could be a parent or a, a relative, and the female a, a parent or a relative that was once together with the male. Okay, so they were once a couple, but they no longer are, so they're crossing your paths in two different times, whereas you'll be happy to see the, the, the parent, you will not, the father, you will not be as happy because of uh, the, the, the relationship that's so difficult to you with, uh, with the, the, your mother. Okay, so this was just an example. So it could play out in very many different ways. This female could be a, a jealous woman. Um, there could be so many different uh, ways that it plays out. But let me go on. There's so much here. Um, I have here... Uh, something that's hidden from sight will no longer be hidden for very long. Something that you just couldn't see, that you had it right in front of your eyes, but it was not possible for you to see, finally will emerge and see the light. You'll be able to understand something that was, was hidden from sight up until the month of September. Where, where the month excels for you, um, I did talk about uh, written communication uh, or repeated communication that you had to deal with that would cause you some trouble, um, cause you some trouble, some difficulty. Where you um, um, where you excel and you have, not, you actually are lucky with when, when you have um, communication directly that is in a, a verbal format, or even if it's a chat, even where you can see people, but it's it's done um, live, in person, okay? Um, in real time, if not in person, in real time. Um, as I said, I mentioned the male who will be a joy to see again. That actually will be a person who will give you guidance and uh, offer you some suggestions and uh, will be uh, after your own good, they will be there and in, in, uh, they will be acting in your own interests. However, there will be arguments uh, with a female. There's going to have diff there are going to be difficulty, uh, difficulties with um, a female figure. Uh, it could be anyone. And I'm not talking in terms of couples here because the possibilities are endless. I'd like to now take three um, Mona Lisa Tarot uh, cards, and these have been previously shuffled, and I'm going to split the deck in three. Take one from the top of the deck, one from the middle of the deck, and one from the very bottom of the deck. Let me show you those cards. So I have the stars, stars, the stars have come out twice, stars, stars. I have the seven of pentacles, and I have the Ace of Swords. Now, what I'm seeing here is, first of all, you're going to learn of uh, something that you weren't privy to in the past. Um, a new truth is going to come up from the people who visit you, who cross your paths, who come again into your life. You're going to learn about something that you were unaware of in the past that had to do with um, some area of uh, financial, uh, some, some, some finances, your finances, uh, the family's finances, but you will, that will become clear to you. And this could also play out in terms of an inheritance 
that you was meant for you but that you never received you'll learn about that in the month of September um, the month of September also is um, a turning point for you Virgo in terms of you understanding understanding what you really want um, and it seems that you want to go it alone you want to break away the shackles of being um, an employee you want to break away from the shackles of being a, a lover or a friend or uh, a wife or a husband so there's going to be a breaking away um, that's that's going to have positive influence on you all in all it seems from the cards I do hope this was of help to you Virgo um, namaste and until we read together again bye bye